welcome to this time of prayer on Wednesday. We will be thinking today about the lives of Timothy and Titus, who were companions of St Paul. We celebrated the conversion of St Paul earlier this week, and yesterday was the feast of Timothy and Titus, his companions. We will be saying prayers today from David Adams' book, Rhythm of Life, and Wednesday the theme is Holy Spirit, which is most appropriate because these people, Paul, Timothy, Titus, that we're thinking about this week, were filled with the Holy Spirit that allowed them to have such evangelical zeal. Send out your Holy Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Come, Holy Spirit, come among us. Come as the wind to move us. Come as the fire to prove us. Come, power of all powers, renew us. Come, Holy Spirit, come strength of all strengths, refresh us. Come, might of all mighty ones, revive us. Come, Holy Spirit. The psalm appointed for the feast of Timothy and Titus is Psalm 100. O be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures, from generation to generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and for ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We have a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. This is the word of the Lord. So what do we know about Timothy and Titus, these companions of St Paul? Timothy was but a teenager when he met Paul. His family lived in Lystra, so he was Galatian. His father was a Greek man. We know nothing of his faith. But Timothy's mother and grandmother were faithful Jewish women who taught the Old Testament scriptures to this boy they loved so much. And as the women heard Paul preach, they believed in Jesus, and so did Timothy. Timothy may have seen Paul heal a lame man in his town. He may also have watched as an angry mob threw stones at Paul and left him for dead. Yet he also knew that Paul survived. When Paul came back to Lystra a couple of years later on his second journey, Paul invited Timothy to travel with him. Timothy helped Paul establish churches at Philippi, Thessalonica and Berea. When Paul left Berea to go to Athens, he left Timothy and Silas behind, but later sent word for them to join him. And Timothy was sent to Thessalonica to strengthen the faith of believers there. Timothy was a trustworthy friend, and he did much to aid Paul in his mission during the three years Paul was in Ephesus teaching them about the amazing power of God, Timothy was there too. When Paul was imprisoned in Rome for two years, Timothy was right alongside him much of the time, unselfishly taking care of Paul's needs. According to Fox's Book of Martyrs, which was published in 1563, Timothy remained in Ephesus until AD 97, and during a pagan celebration, he severely reproved the people for their ridiculous idolatry. And this antagonised them, and they beat him with clubs in so dreadful a manner that he expired of the bruises two days later. 
a man who was faithful unto death, to the teachings and faith that he had learned from St Paul. During Paul's first missionary journey, a young man named Titus heard Paul preach about Jesus. Titus was Greek. He had not grown up worshipping the God of the Old Testament. And as he listened to Paul, Titus's heart responded to the message and he believed. Paul brought him to Jerusalem to show the apostles and other Jewish believers how a Greek non-Jew could love God just as much as they did. Titus represented all the other non-Jewish people who became Christians and were completely accepted by God through their faith in Jesus Christ. Titus continued to travel with Paul on missionary journeys, helping in the work of sharing the gospel. And during the three years that Paul was in Ephesus teaching them about the amazing power of God, Titus was there. Then Paul sent him to Corinth to alleviate the tension there and to collect money for the poor. Paul thought of Titus not only as a very faithful friend, but also as his spiritual son, because he had led him to trust Christ. So today, we remember both of these people, Timothy and Titus, and we remember how we too are called by that same spirit to follow Christ. Titus returned to Crete, and served out the rest of his life there. He was not apparently martyred, though we do not know, but we believe that he ended his life in Crete. But both of these people served the early church with zeal and with a passion for the gospel that we ask God to instill in us all. We now come to a time of prayer in which we ask God's blessing upon us, that we may be filled with his spirit we pray for our communities, for the Alfred Jewel Benefice, and for all who serve our parishes. We ask, Lord, on this day, that you renew in us a passion to serve your gospel, and your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord, as we remember those men and women who have gone before us in faith, we ask that you bless us in all that we do. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God bless us and all whom we love this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>